hello friends welcome to this channel today we are going to see how to set up the micro python on esp32 we are going to use the thony id for this purpose thony id is a very basic id so it is very useful from the point of view of the beginners now let us start downloading the thony id for that purpose you need to type thony id in the google search window press enter so thony.org website is open you can download the setup file as per your os i am interested in windows so i am going to download the setup file for windows I have already downloaded the uh, set of file, so I am going to run the set of file now. Select install mode. Sin select install for me only. Press next over here. Accept the agreement. I am going to copy it in this folder. So you can use your folder of your choice. So press next over here. Folder already exists. So I am going to press yes. Just just click over here just create desktop icon just uh, check that checkbox then go to next then install the installation has started it will take some time So now it is saying great success. The installation of Thony is completed. Press finish. You can start the Thony ID. So now ID is open. So next thing we are going to do is just install the bin file from the micropython site for the esp32 just go to the micropython.org site and just click on the download and search for esp32 over here so this is the esp32 Here we are going to get the firmware for generic ESP32 model. You can download this firmware from here. So take the stable uh, bin file and download it. I have already downloaded the file of uh, version 1.16 and it is with me here. So let us go to the Thony ID again. Go to Tools, then go to Manage Plugin. And type over here ESP Tools and search. click over here I have already got this file I think so I am going to close the window go to run then select the interpreter 
and then check the port for web RPM. I have already got the port selected that is COM15. Press over here, click over here, install up or update firmware. So this window will be open. Select your port over here and then, then select your firmware. This is the pin file for ESP32. So open it. Just put the checkbox, click, put the tick in the checkbox, and then start the installation. So, installation of these bin file has started. and it is under progress it will take some time 3% 6% 8% we need to wait for the completion so now installation is complete so we will close this window press ok over here Now you can see over here that ID has communicated with the ESP32 ID, ESP32. So now we will try to put some code over here. So I am already having one code ready with me for blinking the LED on the ESP board. So I am going to paste it over here. So I have already pasted the code over here. I have changed the pin number of LED to pin number 2 as LED is on pin number 2 for the ESP board which I am having. So this is the simple code for blinking of LED. So I am going to straight away run the code in the device. So blinking has started on the ESP32 board and the code is working properly. You can also save the file. in the computer in whatever folder whichever folder you want I'm going to create folder blink for this purpose and copy this main.p by over here At the same time, you can save the file straight away into the device as well. So, installation of MicroPython on this uh, ESP32 board is successful, and we have seen how the code is running over here using the MicroPython. So, that's it for the day. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the video, please press the like button. Please do subscribe to this channel and share this video with your friends. Have a good time. Thanks.